Hi everybody. Uh, today, uh, in line by line, we have a special guest, Green. Hi, Green. Hello. And we are analyzing a song, Lead South Dakota, by Manchester Orchestra. Um, uh, why did you choose this song? Okay, so sometimes my heart gets really cold and hard mm -hmm. and I can take a piece of music and it'll evoke the right uh, like secret passphrase of emotional resonance to crack mm -hmm. it open again. And this is one of those songs for me. So I, th I wanted to demonstrate like how one can use a song as a way to reverberate your own heart back open once you've closed it down and don't hate, don't love anymore. Mm -hmm. So I thought it'd be a good way to use this analysis of the song thing you do. Yeah. Um, would you would you read it? There are parts of me just stuck inside the grocery in the produce aisle where the dead beats. Rustling, trying to look busy, but they're high, like me. There are parts of you, I see you argue with yourself, and I think you're crazy, really. We're both running out of days. I pray you get by like me. This is temporary, I just heard I'm gonna be a dad. South Dakota, every winter someone loses it. I'm lost without a single clue as to where I'm headed. I wait for her, because without her, I'm going to sink. Would you marry me? Repeat, repeat. There's no clarity tomorrow. I'm not even trying to swat those demons away from me. Is it temporary? I don't think I want to be a dad. Nobody knew today would be the day he loses it. I'm lost without a single clue as to where I'm heading. I look for her because without her, I'm going to sink. It's a long song. I don't know if I mentioned. <clears throat> the snow is piling up our temporary grid. It was just like this, this time last year. There's nothing in the wind, just white up to the trees. It's been that way for eternity. Grocery, at least 13 buried by your arrow steep shriek of the softball team it rewinds me will you pray for me repent repeat i'm a clock and the balance being if i die there's nothing i keep that reminds me microscopic specks of love being raptured to you i heard a sound that was paranormal must have thought I had begged him to bury me. Bleeding out, better buy one to get one. Then <laughs> that one again, and then the time has come to abide by your folly. It's so unusually bright for the scene. You are the blood in my blood, you pretender. It took your blood on my blood to believe. And those are the lyrics for the song I chose for this line by line with you. Thank you. It was uh, an excellent reading. So now we go through it line by line, right? Yes. yes let's go Dear God. There are parts of me just stuck inside the grocery. In the produce aisle where the dead beats. Rustling, trying to look busy but they're high like me. Oh, yeah. So that's like a guilt trip mm -hmm. for the infantilized man in our modern society where like you're trying to look busy, but really you're just floating by. Um, and the, the, the produce aisle makes me think of like couch potatoes first. So kind of a guilt trip for that too built into there. I think it's it's a combination of guilt trips really that cracks the heart back open. So mm -hmm. 
There's some in there. Uh, I think, um, like, the way I read this line, there is something not working in his head. They are stuck. Like, I think he, he even... Uh, mm, he refers maybe to his brain, if I, if I were to project. Um, and he thinks parts of him, um, instead of working and making their functions, they're stuck like dead beats or with the dead beats. They're looking busy, but in reality, just like they, they, they like stuck in one loop. Okay, they're high like me. I, I, yeah, I can't be, I can't, I'm not able to project on that part. Somehow. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, understand it later. Like I said, it's, it's a matter of floating by. I mean, you might look busy, but you're just floating. So that's that's my projection for that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are parts of you I see you argue with yourself. And I think you're crazy, really. We're both running out of days. I pray you get by like me. <laughs> he he found a. Uh, uh, uh... Uh, a candid spirit, like he found somebody he relates to. I think. Mm -hmm. See, the thing that I noticed when we were, when I was preparing myself to be on his show here, <laughs> that um, I think these guys do a lot of tragedy songs. Like this is, as far as I can tell, a grocery store shooting. And like a lot of their other songs, like one is a car accident. And um, I mean, it's just, I think a real morbid band maybe, but like, because it's such a tragic event and they use such figurative language, it's like a giant billboard that you can project pieces of your life into. And um, so like, I think you're crazy really always for me has been like, if I was, if there was a, a romantic involvement ongoing at the time, it would be like, because of the role, like you're taking this position in my life, you must be crazy. Um, projection going into that part of the song, which, you know, helps with the cracking things open. And I pray you get by like, like me, it makes you acknowledge that you're doing all right, really, you're getting by and you, extend i hope they're doing that well out to them so i mean uh, i i think here he's uh, he's trying to find common ground and we are both i i understand that there are parts of you that i see and i recognize but i uh, i think you're also crazy really um and common ground we are both running out of days and so he's uh, addressing that uh, song to somebody like he's talking to somebody in here okay um, yeah I, I think <laughs> not yet able to contribute much to that analysis still still not this is temporary I just heard I'm going to be a dad. South Dakota, every winter, someone loses it. That, I mean, okay, for me, that's like the pressures that a dude faces at like questionable periods of his life, like when the test isn't back yet. And um, that, that amount of pressure plus the fact that every winter someone loses it it's like a lottery it's like am i the one that's going to snap this year and like the 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 sudden like you're going to be a dad for the rest of your life pressure is one of those that can make one think of things that make people snap 
Mm. Every winter, someone does this. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about South Dakota? Just I, South Dakota. Why? Only that we know it's cold. It's probably like uh, Siberia. Okay. It's the Siberia of America in the winter, I believe. But like mm -hmm. that's projection. I've never wintered there or anything. I mean, it sounds south. <laughs> you think it was further south, but <laughs> I think it's just at the the southern plain <laughs> and the north. I wouldn't swear to it. So every winter when it's really cold, somebody loses uh, and like they get locked away in their blizzard in a house for so long that they snap or mm -hmm. that sort of thing okay so every winter it's just like i'm taking it further from the actual idea of the song it was just catchy that the entire environment and of this place somehow is seems unhappy and like there's never not one that loses it it's kind of Every season, it, go, it comes around. It's going to get somebody. I like that aspect of that part. Well, but it is true that uh, the it's a reality that that somebody loses it like every few days around mm -hmm. the globe. So, but every winter in South Dakota, so depending on how high, how large this area is. Uh, um, it's a sad subject. I, I, I can't really joke about it. Mm. I'm lost without a single clue as to where I'm headed. I wait for her because without her, I'm going to sink. But I heard I'm going to be a dad. Why is this time? Oh, it gives him hope. So this is temporary. I heard I'm going to be a dad. Good news. <laughs> I'm lost without her. So if he's not a dad, he might snap. Like without her, he might snap. It's mm -hmm. like without her, I'm going to sink into insanity. So. Like when you're navigating the ship of your life, mm -hmm. it's nice to have a beacon shining on the horizon to steer your ship toward. And that's then she's that light for him. And so without her, he's just lost, lost, and he's going to sink. Yeah. Can you imagine that pressure on <laughs> the girl? <laughs> No, she just has to shine. That's fine. That's it. There's no other obligation. <laughs> just shine on, you crazy diamond. Shine on. <laughs> Would you marry me? Repeat, repeat. There's no clarity tomorrow. I'm not even trying to swap those, swat those demons away from me. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, so there is this girl, <laughs> he asks, like, without her I'm gonna sing, but would you marry me? <laughs> like, not asking. There is no clarity tomorrow. I'm not even trying to swat those demons away from me. So uh, uh, he's really depressed. Like, and the only way out would be that girl. I guess and marriage is a commitment thing it's a, it it means he actually wants to stay alive and he wants to commit to that uh, to that life somehow my my english is very limited so i might misinterpret uh, the song i like that 
there's no clarity tomorrow, so there's no point in waiting anymore. Let's go ahead and get married. And um, the demons that he's not swatting away are the ones that like are fears of the future. Mm. Or fears of consequence of the decisions being made. Oh, he's not afraid of that anymore. Yeah. But then we go, is it temporary? I don't think I want to be a dad. Nobody knew today would be the day he loses it. And then that I'm lost without a single clue as to where I'm headed. Look for her because without her, I'm going to sink again. Mm-hmm. He wants to marry and be with her, maybe, but I don't think he's like, I'm not yet ready to be a dad because I'm a mess. There are parts of him still stuck inside the grocery. Oh. Oh, he's still choosing. He's back and forth. Mm -hmm. I think this is like the other part that doesn't want to be a dad that's stuck in the grocery. Oh. It's good when uh, when he's addressing it uh, to a person who also know who actually knows where she's going. But if I understand, he he told her like you're also crazy. Like, so. Well, he does so, see her argue with herself. Yeah. <laughs> so two so two lost people, uh, not necessarily mean a good union. It might still sink with her. <laughs> yes, or like faster. <laughs> it might just sink faster. <laughs> like two people sink faster. <sighs> the snow is piling up. Our temporary grid. It was just like this, this time last year. There's nothing in the wind, you're just white up to the trees. And it's been that way for eternity. Mm. Now, to be fair, the way that my ears work, like a lot of these lyrics don't weren't always that in my head because they were whatever I heard the first time I, I heard it. And I heard graves instead of grid. So like snow, the snow is piling up our temporary graves for me. And, and and for that reason, it always highlighted like the days of our lives with the snow piling mm -hmm. up on top of this temporary time we have here. Mm -hmm. You just had to grim it down. <laughs> Dude, that's how it landed in my ears. <laughs> the filter in the, the green filter. <laughs> What this is too happy? Wait, let's make it a little darker. <laughs> the song is actually really shiny, and it's not about <laughs> the grocery store shooting. <laughs> now that he <laughs> read the line by line, <laughs> well, maybe, maybe we're we're almost there. <laughs> I, 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 I'm like I'm, I'm, I'm bewildered by the song, but again, there is this coldness, winter. Um, and winter is uh, absence of sun. And, uh, yeah, that you have to endure for who knows how long, just waiting for it to be warm once again. So people, people are massively depressed uh, in winter. Like winter is time for depression because there is actually no sunlight. Mm -hmm. And if they have to be... Uh, <laughs> I've been thinking that's why Siberians are always so tough. <laughs> because because those who could not take it <clears throat> didn't make it. <sighs> it's too sad to shout out about. surviving Siberians. Yes. <laughs> way to go. The snow is piling up our temporary greed. So again, he knows it's it's temporary that Although, what, what is grid? Is the predicament in? Or? Mm, electric grid comes to mind. 
Like oh. sort of small town and. But why temporary grave? I thought it was graves, really. So <laughs> I can't <laughs> help you. I think I think they made they meant graves, but but whatever. The lyric people messed it up, right? Yes, they were like, we are not poets, really. <laughs> um, okay, the grave is still temporary. Let's go with the grave. Okay. It's still temporary, and and in the previous one he asked, is it temporary? Uh, like mm -hmm. he's battling uh, the. Uh, the ideas will it last or is it temporary but here he's like uh, it's covered in snow but I know it will melt it's temporary uh, so as our grave is temporary uh, because last year was the same right it was just the same last year there is nothing in the wind Uh-huh. And it's been that way for eternity. So uh, it comes and goes. And because it's for eternity, he knows that it's temporary. I mean, you see that part when he's saying there's nothing in the wind, just wide up to the trees, and it's been that way for eternity. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, that, that means like how it is now. Is it feels like it's going to be that way for so long that like you're in the middle of the long winter. There's just endless days left, endless day. that. That's the it's been that way for eternity. I get from that. Like, it's always been how it is right now. This moment is eternal. Like the sad part about everything that everything ends the good and the bad parts and for me knowing that everything is temporary everything like there is nothing that is not temporary it just takes longer for some things but everything ends and that uh, finite realization that we are finite our suffering is finite even our happiness is finite makes me enjoy it more somehow there is no point in being all depressed it will end one day so enjoying here and now is the best kind of uh, best lesson of life to just enjoy it mm -hmm. right now yeah it's a sad song. Let's... Even if you're just sitting there watching a line by line on YouTube, just enjoy it with everything you have in this moment. Because it's temporary. Grocery. At least 13 was buried by your arrow. The steep shriek of the softball team. It rewinds me. Like, when you're listening to the song, that second line is, you want nostalgia? Go wherever you want. It's like a, like a nostalgia permission slip to be rewound. So when it, and then the buried by your arrow part, I thought was like, he ended up dead because of the love and it was Cupid's arrow. Mm-hmm. And apparently when he got shot, the softball team shrieked. Maybe steep shriek of the football, softball team. Yeah, he's brought back to life going, watching softball team. Maybe, maybe remembering his childhood and like the good, happy memories. Uh, also, it's winter. Do you play softball in winter in America? No. Okay. Not to my knowledge. Will you pray for me? And repent, repeat. I'm a clock and the balance beam. If I die, there's nothing I keep that reminds me.
Mm-hmm. Let's see, I have no idea what the guy meant because I'm using the song for my own purposes and like the clock and the balance beam is my life is a measure like a clock and a balancing act between like getting myself killed and being healthy. So, mm-hmm. um, and everybody can use prayers. Uh, I see the structure here. Before that, he said, um, will you marry me? Repeat, repeat. And will you pray for me? Repent, repeat. Um, so he is again uh, asking her to save him. Uh, nothing I keep that reminds me. Okay, so she is probably pregnant. And uh, he wants her to marry him and have a family. Because this is the this is the argument he has for himself. He's running out of time. So in order to to bring something, uh, to, to leave something be- behind after he's gone, he thinks it's a child. I'm like, I just, yeah. Creators like artists or writers uh, usually don't think that, that that children, it's not what we leave behind. And uh, for me, it's hard to relate to that idea because uh, the things I create is the things that I leave behind. Uh, so if I would try to understand, uh, project he, he, what, what he would mean. I would think he feels like he created nothing and, and her is the last hope for him to create something. That's, that's what I project from here. Microscopic specks of love being raptured to you. I heard a sound that was paranormal. For me, that that I think like <laughs> raptured is the only way love is transmitted is a really beautiful thought. It's kind of it reminds me of like fusion, no fission, no some kind of atomic bomb, but like being experienced by a particle of love makes the explosion like a rapture for the particle. Um, So, I don't know, I just, my brain does weird things with that particular line, I suppose. I think he was, uh thinking of her at the moments, just like those little thoughts when he heard the paranormal sound and it's situational this this way. Like it's <clears throat> from the grocery store shooting angle. Yeah. The uh, microscopic specks can be his blood and the paranormal sound could be the gunshot. Mm-hmm. And then that fits with the next must have thought I had begged him to bury me. Bleeding out, better buy one to get one. Mm-hmm. It's, um, like that guy must have thought I begged him to bury me. And that's why he shot me. And now I'm bleeding out at the, at the BOGO part of the grocery store. That's so kind. Like... Like there is no blame here. He just, um, it's very um, observ- observative. Like he just, he just observes, he just uh, understands life it, it is. 
He must have thought, like, he already, like, he already excuses him in that line. He must have thought I asked for it. And yeah, perhaps like I an, did. <laughs> it's like an out-of-body perspective on being, mm -hmm. for someone who just got shot. It's like, mm -hmm. yeah. But better buy one to get one. What does it mean in that perspective? Well, in grocery stores, that's a common thing. You buy one, you can get one for free. Oh, okay. So for me, it's a grocery store reference. Okay. Getting out. And then the last thing he sees is the advertisement. Yeah, that's uh, definitely inspired of a shooting. And um, it is true that that uh, all those shocking news or shocking stories they they do kind of get people into a very emotional state, and in a very emotional state, you write better somehow. So I, I get it. I get it why why uh, that band keeps keeps uh, digging through crime stories in order to feel, because feeling it's either feeling and writing and creating in that feeling, or the apathy. Mm. And the apathy leads to nothing, and it's like just nothing as well. At least I I want to feel something, and this is the fastest way to feel. It's that lowest way. Okay, interesting. The time has come to abide by your folly. It's so unusually bright for the scene. Like, just the notion of abiding by your folly is like, okay, the consequences are here now. Now you have to live with what you've done. Now it's time to own your mistake. So like when the song takes you there musically, it's a really, uh, that's a great moment, regardless of where it fits in the story for me. But, and the, that it follows with it so unusually bright, makes it like a, a cleansing thing to take ownership of that mistake, like an empowering thing. So for me, that line works that way when I hear it. Then um, you are the blood in my blood, you pretender. It took your blood on my blood to believe. That one, I map to uh, <laughs> to the anima. Um, like blood in my blood is like you're what gets my blood raised, my heart beating faster. That. You're you're the, you're what pumps the blood for my blood. You pretender, because he doesn't trust it. But then, when they made the baby, he came to believe. Or, in the grocery shooting metaphor, they the blood on my blood to believe. I'm trying to understand that. Still, like, it doesn't pierce through the defenses somehow <laughs> for some reason. It took your blood on my blood to believe. Like, that sentence, I just don't understand at all. Like, it, 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 it doesn't break through. Such as, like, he couldn't believe that she loved him. And now that they're both bleeding out in the grocery store together. Oh, they both shot. Yeah, that's that's how I map it. It took your blood on my blood to believe. Okay. <clears throat> she died with him. And think... now he believes. Like before that she was a pretender. But um uh... Even so, she was still the motivation for okay. for his life, even though he didn't trust it. So he did not trust her, but the moment she kind of died together with him and the blood mixed, 
that moment he believed. Took your blood on my blood to believe. No, it also he also might mean uh, the fact that she decided to to have his child. That would make him believe as well. Yeah. Like the, I, I would understand it in both ways because I don't actually know the story. <clears throat> like I, I use it for my own purposes because yeah. I like the lines. So mm -hmm. it's, no. it's all right either way he meant it. It's very honest. Well, it's a story that um, that needs to be heard and felt. It's also I if I were to project, it teaches to um, enjoy the moments we have because everything is finite. Like it can end in any moment. Like here, he was doubting his uh, his future, depression, and everything. And but it ended. Like all his doubts went away by the end. So he died. Hopefully, hopefully she stayed alive. But he died believing. She stayed with him till the end. And weirdly, I think it has a positive ending. Somehow. Yeah, like. It's unusually bright for the scene. Yeah. So that that puts a positive spin on it. Mm -hmm. It's unusually bright for this scene. And at the end, I believe. Like he mistrusted the world so much that in order to believe her, it took her dying beside him or giving him a child. Life's hard to believe in sometimes, apparently, <laughs> especially in South Dakota. Yes. Again. Thank you. I will definitely think about that song. In my free time. And um, enjoy the gifts of life. Enjoy the free time. Don't overthink things. Just leave it. And uh, life is definitely Remember. fine. <laughs> Remember, it's temporary. Yes. This too shall pass. Bye. Stay tuned for the bonus feature at the end of every episode of Line by Line. Only those of you who have watched all the way through know the special surprise at the end of the box. But then we get to the happy part. I came from there. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm like a snow one. <laughs>